Have you ever asked yourself, how many brains do you have? If your answer is one, you are correct. Yet there are other nervous systems in your body. One network of neurons is so extensive that some scientists have referred to it as the second brain. It is the enteric nervous system. It's located not in your head, but in your belly. It takes an enormous amount of coordination and effort for the body to transform food into food. Hence, it is fitting that the brain is designed as it were to delegate most of the digestive control functions to the enteric nervous system. While much simpler than the brain, the enteric nervous system is immensely complex. In human, it is made up of an estimate of 200 to 600 million neurons. This complex network of neurons is built into the digestive system. Scientists believe that if the function of the enteric nervous system were to take place in the brain, the needed nerves would be too thick. According to the book, The Second Brain, it is thus both safer and more convenient to let the digestive system look after itself. Good digestion requires a variety of very precise chemical mixtures produced at the right times and delivered to the right locations. Thus, it is referred to as a chemical workshop. The sophistication of this chemical operation is mind-boggling. For instance, the intestinal wall is lined with specialized cells that act as chemical detectors of taste receptors, identifying chemicals present in the food that you eat. It also helps the enteric nervous system enlist the right digestive enzymes to break the food down into particles that the body can absorb. Also, the enteric nervous system plays a very important role in monitoring the acidity and other chemical properties of the food particles and in adjusting the digestive enzymes accordingly. Think of the digestive tract as a factory line managed mostly by the enteric nervous system. Your second brain moves food through the digestive system by directing the muscles along the wall of the digestive tract to contract. The enteric nervous system varies the strength and frequency of this muscle contraction as needed to make the system function like a conveyor belt. If you ingest high levels of harmful organisms, the enteric nervous system protects the body by triggering powerful contractions that expel most of the toxic matter through vomiting or diarrhea. While the enteric nervous system seems to function independently of the brain, these two nerves, nerve centers engage in a constant communication. For example, the enteric nervous system plays a role in the regulation of hormones that tell the brain when you should eat and how much you should eat. The enteric nervous system also signals the brain when you are full and may possibly trigger nausea if you eat too much. The enteric nervous system also supervises safety functions. The food you swallow is likely to contain potentially harmful bacteria. It is no wonder that about 70 to 80 percent of your body's lymphocyte cells, a vital component of your immune defense system, are housed inside the belly. If you ingest uh, high levels of harmful organisms, the enteric nervous system protects the body by triggering powerful contractions that expel most of the toxic matter through the vomiting or diarrhea. Even before viewing this presentation, you may have suspected that there is a communication link between your digestive tract and your brain. Have you noticed, for instance, that eating some fatty foods seems to improve your mood? Research suggests that this happens when your enteric nervous system sends happy signals to the brain, starting a chain reaction that makes you feel better. This may explain why people tend to eat so-called comfort foods when feeling stressed. Scientists are exploring the possibility of artificially stimulating the enteric nervous system as a treatment of depression. Another example of communication between the brain and the digestive system is described to us having butterflies in one's stomach. 
This feeling may be the result of the enteric nervous system diverting blood away from the stomach when the brain experiences tension or stress. Nausea can be another result, as during stress, the brain triggers the enteric nervous system to change the gut's normal contractions. According to experts, this brain-gut connection might also be the basis of the so-called gut instincts. While the enteric nervous system may generate such gut feelings, it cannot think for you or direct your decisions. In other words, the enteric nervous system is not really, really a brain. It cannot help you to compose a song, balance your bank account, or do your homeworks. Still, this marvelous system continues to amaze scientists for its complexity, much of it perhaps still undiscovered. So the next time you are about to have a meal, pause and think about all the monitoring, data processing, coordination and communication that's about to take place in your digestive system.